Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, and I've been scammed, and I'm super pissed about this, but this guy scammed me out of a pair of Concord SBs, and I'm going to show you guys a story as, an, as it unfolds, and give you guys some tips so you guys do not get scammed yourselves via PayPal. And uh, basically, I, I sent out a message on Twitter asking people, um, hey, if, you, if anybody knows anybody that can get a pair of uh, Concord SB size 9.5, hit me up. Let me know. I'm trying to find them for retail. This guy replied back to me. Of course, I can't show you the actual tweets because the douchebag deleted his messages and blocked me. Um, and I can't get a hold of him now. So you guys can try to spam him and let me know what you guys think. This guy's name is Paradise Cartel. And uh, his email address is claytyler at live.com, as you can see on the screen right there. Uh, Tyler with a Y, but this guy's a complete douchebag, and he basically totally scammed me on these shoes, and, and I know most of this is my fault, part of it, part of it's my fault, most of it's his fault for being a douche, but part of it is my fault, and, and I didn't protect myself the correct way, and I want to share how you guys can do that, so basically, I sent out a message, said, uh, anybody can hook me up with these shoes, he wrote back, he said, yeah, I can, I got a pair, he sent me a picture with a pair of ni a nine, a nine and a half, and a ten, so I was like, okay, he has his shoes, and he said, um, I'll ship them to you for 120 or 120 shipped. I'll give them to you for for that. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm like, this is this is great. I thought I assumed he was a subscriber, he's somebody that maybe I that um, watches the videos or something like that. I thought he was going to do me a favor. I assumed he was a subscriber and just uh, saw my tweet and, and was replying back. I don't even know if he was um, a subscriber, to be quite honest, and it's something that you shouldn't uh, assume going forward. Uh, but basically, this is what happened. I said, uh, what's the PayPal account? Because he said, yeah, 120, and then he's like, PM me. I said, what's the PayPal account? Let me know. I really want these. Do you have the receipt? He says, this is my email address, again, uh, Clay Tyler. Uh, at live.com, spam that, and uh, he says, I don't know where the bag is with all those shoe receipts, but I'll give you the tracking number as soon as I hit the ship button, I said, cool, when you, um, do you want to send me an invoice or something, my PayPal is this, he said, okay, I'm sending it now, this is where I made the mistake, folks, because I asked for an invoice, and he sent me something, and I didn't verify it, and I'll show you guys that um, after the rest of this conversation, but this is why, I, this is basically where I, where I went wrong, he said, um, you're welcome, and then I said, okay, money sent. You can ship them to this address. Thanks, dude. Now, one thing I did do right is I didn't send him my personal address. I sent him an alternative address, um, and I think it's important for those that have, especially large sneaker collections, it's not the smartest thing just to throw your address out there all the time. So I gave him an alternate address, and uh, I sent the money to him because I did get the, the email from PayPal saying so-and-so is requesting money. I clicked the button and saw that he was requesting money and sent him the money. I, that is where I screwed up, though, because what he ended up sending me was just a request for money. It wasn't a goddamn invoice, and that's my fault for not reviewing that. And um, it pisses me off, man. But I said at the top here, I said, let me know the total, including the, the shipping and the PayPal fees, because I told him I'm willing to pay the extra PayPal fees to cover um, to cover yourself in an invoice. And that's what you need to do. You need to make sure they're sending an invoice, not just a request for money. Now, this is what ended up transpiring from that. Um, he said that they've uh, been shipped because I was asking where, where they were at. He said they've been shipped, and the tracking number he'll get to me as soon as he gets home on Tuesday, and that was on 5-5. Five, five. And I said, okay, thanks, just checking. He writes back, you're welcome. This guy has a nerve to like try to play the nice nice card. It's just, just bullshit. Uh, and then 5-8 ha happens. I said, any word? I'm getting nervous here. 5-9, I said, still haven't heard back, man. Um, shouldn't take two weeks to deliver. And then today I tried to message him again, and it came back undeliverable because a douchebag unfollowed me from Twitter, or he ended up... Um, I don't know, blocking me or something. I know his account's still there. Feel free to uh, spam Paradise Cartel again if you guys want. This guy, I mean, just what a piece of crap uh, just does stuff like this. I mean, this this is the epitome of why people like, I don't know, just it gives people a bad name in general for, for the fact that they, uh, they're they just trying to pull scams like this. And it's, again, my fault because I did not go forward and do what I needed to do and get the proper invoice. And because of that, I'm not able to get my money back. And I'm 99% I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get my money back because PayPal doesn't cover it. It has to be an invoice. I asked for an invoice, and this is where I went right. I was right for asking for an invoice. I was wrong because I didn't verify what was actually sent to me was an actual invoice. And, and I feel so stupid that this ended up happening. Um, I should have figured something was, was off with this, and I didn't. I didn't really know. So just make sure that what you're looking at says it's an invoice and not a request for money. This is the email that I re received from PayPal saying, uh, Clay Tyler has requested $120, and click here to uh, send the money. That's what I ended up doing. I was like, okay, cool. This this is what I was I thought I needed. Um, I don't do a lot of PayPal transactions, you guys, and I really don't. I buy a lot of my sneakers directly from the source. Uh, from Nike stores, from Foot Locker, foot, from Foot Action, on very few occasions, 
I will deal with uh, people on the side and and do transactions. And unless they're trusted people that that you know that won't try to scam you, I mean, I know that it's really hard to trust people nowadays, especially when you get scammed out of um, a lot of money. And this is a very small amount of money. Uh, I'm pissed off that this happened because it, it it really it makes me mad that I that I did this to myself. But at the same time. I know people get scammed out of Yeezys and other big ticket items all the time. So definitely make sure you, you guys do this the right way and make sure that you guys get an invoice. Now, this wasn't the invoice again. I'm going to show you guys the next screen right here. All right, so this is the, the second email I got back. I sent him the money, basically, and this shows that I sent him the money uh, to, to Clay Tyler. And again, I thought it was an invoice and it was not. And I'm going to show you guys the actual transaction so you guys can see. This is what the transaction was. It looked like a regular PayPal transaction. I didn't know if this was an invoice or not, and that was my fault. It was absolutely not an invoice. Um, it was just a direct thing. Now, I tried to report the problem right here. Um, at the bottom of the other screen, it, it says report problem, and I hit here, and I said, yes, I want to report a problem with something that I purchased. But the problem is, essentially, it wasn't an invoice. It doesn't count as a sale of a good or a service. And because of that, I cannot get my money back. And I go here, and it says... I try to, to put in the transaction ID. It's ID. It says we're sorry. The transaction cannot be disputed because it, it is not the purchase of a, purchase. Excuse me of a good or a service. So please contact the uh, recipient directly. Which of course he will not uh, give me my money back because he's obviously turning this into a scandal and, and decided just to to, to make one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, I know that there's people out there that do this on a regular basis. If you're one of those people. Um, uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not a big fan of you at all. And this dude is. Uh, I mean, he did. He did what exactly what he was trying to do, and, and he he ended up getting the money, and he fooled me into it, and and now he blocks me, and and you know what? He has no moral conscience, and and that's great. That's fine with him. I'm pissed because I missed out on a great pair of shoes. Um, Indeed actually mentioned he'd send me a pair, but I I mean I really appreciate the offer, but uh, I just I'm so salty now with with those shoes. I don't even want them. It's just like a bad reminder of like what I screwed up and 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 screwed myself out of a pair of kicks. Uh, so just as a disclaimer to you guys out there, make sure you guys get an invoice. It is absolutely essential. Get an invoice. Make sure it's an invoice. I asked for an invoice. I didn't get an invoice. I got a stupid request for money. I didn't know what the difference looked like. For those wondering what an actual invoice looks like, it says payment for and then it actually references an invoice and it looks very, very much the same. I went I went through it so quickly and was kind of excited about the situation that I didn't actually look deep enough and, and make sure. But it says it says invoice on the payment. So if it doesn't say invoice on the screen, then don't do it, dudes. Anyways, guys, I'm pretty bummed about the situation, what ended up happening. These are my last tips that I can give you guys just to recap a little bit for purchasing um, on PayPal. And I don't know why it says pay. pay. That was stupid. Um, but one, make sure that you ask it for and receive an invoice. Not just ask or you need to receive an invoice. I've said that many, many times. It's the most essential thing. Otherwise, you're not protected from PayPal. Uh, two, have the person take a picture of the shoes with your name on it before you send the money to verify they actually have the shoes in hand. He could have pulled this picture off the internet and just showed that he had the shoes. So make sure if he puts your name on it, it's something that verifies that he actually has the shoes in hand. Number three, check Twitter and Facebook and their history in, in um, conversations or whatever if you can. Or check them out to see if they're a legitimate seller um, if possible. And just be cautious out there, guys. Especially when you're dealing with high dollar sneakers. Um, it's, it's really imperative that you don't... Um, screw yourself out of out of the pair of shoes, and uh, just watch out for for those fraudulent people out there. There's a lot of them out there. People are always down to, to try to make a quick dollar, and it's a sad sad thing that we have to deal with here. But again, hopefully my loss um, will be your guys's gain, and um, you guys will have learned something from this video. Uh, quite unfortunate. That was one of my pickups I've been waiting on for weeks, and now I don't have another pickup uh, for you guys. And maybe this is another clue that I just need to stop picking up ki kicks for a little while. Um, Anyway, I'm not super happy. Not a great way to start the weekend, but have a good weekend nonetheless, folks. Thanks, guys.